That is a satisfying code. Okay. I'm sure she doesn't have anything, so I'll bring everything. A new person trying to join us today. Wait, it's been a while. Since I said I wanted to join, wanted to, her to join, but. One of my internet daughters. Which I think she's still rather new, so. Maybe we won't be jumping into a too hard of a difficulty, but I'd rather be teaching her. If she receives a message. Hopefully she knows how multiplayer works. Oh, okay, she saw it. I'm gonna need to make another thumbnail. Eventually. She might be on her way. Hello, hello. Jesus Christ, that was loud. Sorry. She's still level one. <laughs> How the hell do I get out of this menu? Uh, what menu? It has me in the server lobby menu and I can't like leave it or anything. I clicked the leave button before and that's what took me out of the multiplayer. Uh, I think you either gotta click or for me it's space. You can back, back out of it. I figured it out. There you go. Hello, hello. Hello. So... I figured you were still learning how to play the game, so I figured we wouldn't have to jump into, like, for me, who's playing professional. And I'm level 185, but if you need me to teach you how to play, I can do that. I think I got the controls kind of down. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck some of the things do, though. Um, for me, I just set my own controls, so don't ask me how it goes. I had to set the controls for myself so I could remember everything. Oh no, I set it so it was easier for me to reach, so I'm not reaching across my keyboard too, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Okay, do you want to try amateur, even though the ghosts are technically harder to find on amateur, but at least they have a least likely chance to kill you unless you're screwing around? <laughs> Honestly, I'm fine with whatever you want to do. I mean, I'll figure it out as we go. So. And, well, the bad thing is it's also harder for... Uh, I solo a lot, but it's also harder to play to with multiple people because your sanity average depends on everybody who's in your group. So that also has a way to trigger... Um, the ghost. Easier. We can stick it on amateur. It's out, uh, on Tanglewood, which is the house that you, if you took the, 
um, introduction part, assuming you did, on how to play? I did. It just didn't seem super clear for a lot of it. That's understandable. So. Okay, well, I could teach you how it is. So um, we're going to that house. We're going to go to amateur. So if you ready up, I brought some stuff, but we might not need much. Okay, and then I'll... I'm going to be calling her Bon. That's what I'm used to calling her, so... She loads in fast. Okay. So, this is amateur. Things I can teach you before we go in. Obviously, you can see the wall map on here. On the screen. It'll tell you where you are, what you selected. This is Tanglewood. Uh, you'll use this map, well, it's mostly for the floors, but if you use this button over on the left, uh, you'll see this green power box. On Amateur and Intermediate, well, no, only on Amateur, it starts on, but on Intermediate and Higher, uh, you'll have to turn it on yourself. But in case the ghost turns it off, you'll probably still want to know. For here, it's going to be in a basement. Eventually, you'll learn the layout. This is our sanity meter. You can see we're at average 99. We haven't really started. On the right um, is the ghost activity. Uh, which I don't think it records until after you've stepped into the house. But the ghost can be doing stuff right now. Up there is sound sensors, if you bring any. If you're pretty new, you probably won't uh, have it, but I brought some extra stuff. Like Chris fixes smudge sticks, tripods for the cameras, stuff you won't usually have until you buy it. Motion sensor and sound sensor is down on the bottom. Those, uh, you'll have the extra objectives that you can do if you want or if you're able to do so right now it says prevent a hunt with a crucifix which we might not worry about this is amateur i don't think the ghost starts hunting until you're like 30 percent average which is kind of bad but on higher difficulties it's more easier and then we'll need walk through soul and blow out a candle our ghost name is joseph brown if you've seen playthroughs of phasmo don't spam the ghost name. That will make them mad and possibly get you killed. Hey, it makes it even more fun. <laughs> possibly. Any questions so far? This will be for your video cameras, uh, this computer when we get them set up in there, once we find the ghost room. You can't, yeah, if you click the keyboard, it's a night vision. You'll need that for like orbs and dots. And those are basically it. You can also use the night vision on the video camera itself if you decide to hold it, but it's not too easy to do it that way. So I brought strong flashlights, not the crappy ones, and I don't know what uh, ghost locator stuff you like to start out with, but you can choose whatever you want. You know you can take two. I usually start with a thermometer and a spirit box, and you have to buy the thermometer yourself, but I brought one. And we can go in when you're ready. So mostly when you start, well, I use the walkie-talkie as we get far away now. Um, grab the key. Usually the first thing you do is turn on the power, but we don't have to because this is amateur. So we just start locating the ghost. Oh, pull out your journal. This will be helpful on missions that you're with somebody. So go to overview. That will show you the ghost names, the objectives, what keys you have, and if the ghost responds to everybody or alone. 
that affects how the ghost works. So we have an everybody ghost. So whenever we found the ghost, we should be able to interact together with it. So I'm just going to go around look for cold um, temps right now. So listen out for ghost sounds, like darling stuff. Um, if you have EMF or whatever you grabbed, the EMF is a good way to locate a ghost too. Have you learned how to look for the bone and... Oh, I heard a door move. We have EMF 5. Alright, where'd you get it? In there? Uh, here? Yeah, right in the hallway. That's weird because it's like making uh, buzz sounds for me. Okay, and it's 9 so far, but that doesn't mean it's freezing. Where are you? Are you here? How old are you? Are you here? What do you want? Are you here? Okay, I did not get a spare box yet, but that doesn't mean we don't have it. It's just that it's, uh, that right now it's not answering. Did you bring anything else in? Besides the EMF? I, I just had that in the camera. Uh, how do you set down the camera? Video camera, you can set them down on a table, or like I said, I brought a tripod so we can put it on the tripod and bring it in here if you want to. If you want, I think you, like you'll see the icon over the table and then you can adjust it and then it's whatever your interaction button is. I don't know what you turned it to, so I can't tell you what mine is. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure it out real quick. Give me a sec. If you want to feel safer doing it, you can go outside, look in your journal, and controls. Well, that's how you drop it. <laughs> Hi friend. Did you figure it out? No, apparently not. <laughs> well, let's step outside and then you can look in your journal and the controls. That way the ghost doesn't drain your sanity while we're there. So you would have to go to your pause menu and your options, I believe. And then go to your controls and it will tell you what your... Uh, it should be... The primary use and the secondary use. Like for me, it's set to number one and two. You heard that from me, right? I'm not sure if it works for that screen. Oh, crazy it didn't work. Okay, so you would have to go to the pause menu and then click options and then it would be your secondary, first and secondary use. Button. Okay, so those are the ones I was using before but nothing was happening when I used them. Hmm. I'm just going to try it again, see if it works. Okay. you got to make sure it is, the, the icon is hovering over the table, though. If not, like I said, we can put it on a tripod, and that might be easier. There you go. I got it. Yeah. 
Okay. But also don't forget you can turn the camera and stuff like that, so that might be helpful. That okay. Out. <laughs> okay. So you said we got EMF five, so remember remember to mark that down in your journal. I probably could have put that at a better angle. <laughs> you might have to, yeah. We're probably not certain for now that we found the ghost room, but we can keep checking. So, I'll go put the book down. It could be the hallway, but it might not be. Sometimes you gotta double check. That's a good thing. Go looking for fingerprints. Oh, I think I saw some over here. On the closet door. On the wall here. Or on the door, yeah. Oh, okay, you got some over there. Alright, so you take photos of those. That will make you money. I'll go get a photo camera. On the closet door? Yep. And I think I saw some over here. Unless they disappeared. It looks like they disappeared, never mind. But you can take as many photos of those as you want. Okay, so we got two clues. You said we had fingerprints and EMF5. So when you get two out of three clues, it will limit to you on what ghost it is. Could be. Not is quite, quite a, right away. So we have Jin, Goryo, Abake, or Miling. So you would go to the ghost tab. And then you can click on the ghost. Well, it will give you all ghost types that there are in this game. But you want to look at the ones you got to narrow down. So it's Jin, Goryo, Abake, Miling. So Jin, if we have a Jin, it will be freezing temps. Um, if we have a Goryo, it will be dots. Miling is ghostwriting, which I did put the book in there. And if it's an Abake, we have ghost orbs. So you can see if we have orbs on the camera. I adjusted the video camera. I don't know if that will help us. We'll see. We may have to go actually looking for the ghost room. The ghost that actually the ghost might be more active in. I can find my thermometer and we'll see if we can narrow it down. Okay, it's 2.1 in the hallway. That doesn't mean it's going to be freezing, though. It's not in this room. Normally how you detect freezing temps is what, what the tutorial teaches you. You'll see your breath. Like the breath of your character. Okay, I don't think we have freezing. It seems like our friend is in a hallway. So what we can do, that might make this easier, we'll put a video camera on a tripod and we'll see if we can put orbs. Let's see orbs in the middle of the hallway or we need to do dots. Probably need to move the book over there too. So the video camera's on a tripod now if you want to take that. Or do you want to do dots? You take the video camera? Okay. So where exactly do we want to put it? Like That is a good question. Um since our friend is everywhere. 
drop the video camera here, like in front of the door. Make sure it's facing this way. I'll put one dot there, and I'll put the other one on the other side. At that angle, we should be able to tell, uh, see both dots if I put one on the other side of the hallway. So I'll go that, do that if you want to watch the cameras. See if you can see a silhouette of a ghost moving through the dots. Okay, I'm stepping out. So you'll literally see a ghost move through it. So if it's dots. The other camera's not showing up. Uh. Oh, well, oh, okay. I just saw dots on the. Yeah, that's weird that it's not, though. Well, it's okay. We got dots. So, maybe if he runs back over there. I had that glitch happen once. I don't know what makes it ha do that, but... So Is there, like, a specific way to turn on the camera or something, or...? Not anymore. It's supposed to be on exactly as you bring it in there. Let me see... if I could... See if it's on now. I just picked it up and moved it, so I don't know if that will do anything. Yeah, now it's on. Okay. Alright. So since we know we have dots, I'll let you see what that looks like. You can put them on the wall or on the floor. I prefer them on the floor. Um, but we have a Gorio, which is uh, probably a nice ghost to kind of start out with, but you can read the descriptions on uh, them. A dots is the only way you can actually see the Gorio. Uh, sometimes they'll show up themselves though. I did see it in the bathroom, in the tub earlier. Uh, will only show itself on camera when there's nobody nearby, and rarely seen from their place of death, well, that doesn't do anything yet. So, okay. Before we go back in, well, since this is an amateur, I won't worry about it. So, sanity... You can up your sanity with sanity pills that I brought. You can only carry four at a time on each mission. Quite expensive, and they're one-time use. So, um, usually on probably intermediate, higher, on average, most ghosts will hunt at 50%. There were few ghosts at exceptions that can break that rule. Like a demon, they can hunt 70% and above. They're the most dangerous of that way. Um, Jins, if the power is on. Uh, Raiju, the most dangerous ghosts in the game because they're powered off of our electrical, electrical equipment that we use to hunt the ghosts. So they're not fun. Um, and stuff like that. I don't think... I think... Th oh, the Mimic is... The Mimic can use the abilities of any other ghost. And it will switch. So a Mimic could possibly hunt early. But our Gorio doesn't have any um, special ability. That, so we don't have to worry. If you want to take pills right now, though, it's up to you. Usually, how you stop a ghost from hunting you is crucifixes. You can only carry two of them. Um, sometimes it can be very hard to try to, like, 
use this as a failsafe, especially if you have a hallway ghost like we do. You just have to throw them down, really hope. They only carry up to three feet of protection, like if the ghost is exactly right outside of that three feet, you might not stop the ghost. So you have to kind of scatter them out carefully. Uh, except for a banshee, they'll work up till five feet. They are really scared of a crucifix, so. Any questions on that? I got nothing. The only other question I was thinking of, um, so the difference between local chat and global chat is the radio thing, right? Or am I thinking of yes. that wrong? Yep, local chat is just using your talk button. The global chat is the um, walkie-talkie, yes. It's proximity. So, like, if, I gotta figure. if I'm out here, you really can't hear me, right? That, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's why you use the walkie-talkie. So I'll go throw some crucifixes down. We might not get the ghost to hunt that uh, objective. That's fine. When you're a beginner, you probably really don't want that. But we can focus on doing objectives right now. Um, the things that are going to make you the most money, that's the important thing, figuring out the ghost, making money. Uh, the objectives will get you money, so is taking photos certain things you can take photos of, like the ghost itself, if you happen to see it. Interactions, if you ca catch them fast enough, like the ghost um, opening a door, if you take a photo of the ghost opening the door, throwing stuff, stuff like that. Uh, EMF 5 counts as an interaction photo. Um, the bone, we gotta go looking for the bone. We also have cursed objects now which wasn't a thing until the Christmas update. And those can be the most dangerous to use, especially if you don't realize what you're using. Um, but if you take photos of them, them their money, uh, like if I find one, if we find one, I'll show you. Uh, you want to grab the photo camera? I think I have one inside so I can show you. Actually, I'm going to grab the salt too. I'll so one of our objectives is uh, to get the ghost to walk your salt. Another is the, for it to blow out the candle. So we can bring that later. Are you coming? So I laid the salt down, so we will wait to see if the ghost will step in salt, and if the ghost will usually leave UV footprints, unless it's a wraith. So when the ghost steps in the salt, take a photo and we'll get, should get a footstep um, photo, if he will. Hopefully he will be nice enough too. <laughs> Sometimes they can move ghost room. Uh, it's most likely now a higher chance on higher difficulties. I would think on amateur, he would not. He step in salt. I got it, I think. Or not. No, nope, that's a broken one. Sometimes it doesn't work when there's stuff in a way. I think I found that. So hopefully. Oh. Okay, he's being weird. And not leaving footprints. I'll go get the other bottle of salt. Only wraiths are the ones that don't leave footprints. So... You gotta catch it right away though. Um, I don't think he's going this way, so I'll try on this side of the hallway. So, bones can show up anywhere in the house, right? 
pretty much. So if you want to go looking for that, that's fine. If you see something weird, don't pick it up, possibly. Okay, I got her footstep photo. Alright, so... They can be in a basement, garage, bathroom. Sometimes they've been on a bed. <laughs> Sometimes they can be on this hard to see carpet in the living room. Not seeing it right now though. Sometimes they're on tables. Might be in a basement. I haven't seen it yet. Same with their cursed object. It might be in a basement too. Yep, we got a Ouija board. And there's the bone right here. So you take a photo of it and then you pick it up. Are you out of photos? So. Um, okay. It will tell you in the I top right. Yes. That's fine. I'll get it. I only have one left, but anyway. Too bad we can't get a photo of our Ouija board now. I blame the socks. Uh, the salt problem. This is a Ouija board. That's one of the cursed objects. It's a easy way to get photos of. So if you wanted to use it, you only get three uses out of it, if you. but it's also you probably don't want to use it too much because the ghost might hunt and then we have to hide and hope none of us dies and then one of us won't get the money. So usually you, you can click on it uh, if you want to use it. Um, it's a, or do you, if you want me, it doesn't matter. You can ask a question. Usually you can ask where the ghost is, or if they like you, they'll... Uh, there's a list of things you can ask them, but uh, you can usually ask them where the bone's located, ask them what their favorite room is, you can ask them how old they are. There's just a whole list, I don't know all of them. Don't ask them their favorite color, that's not registered in there yet. <laughs> And after you're done asking the ghost, say goodbye. Make sure uh, when you uh, make sure you do that, or the Ouija board will burn, and then the ghost will start hunting. So basically, the same shit as like real life, minus the whole burning thing. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So if you want to use it go ahead. I would only suggest one question and then we can probably get out and we still got to do the candle hey! objective. Or do you want I, me I to? I always try to steer clear from Ouija boards, even in games, man. No thanks. Okay, well, I'll use it then. I'm not terrified. I don't know what our sanity is, but I think it's fine. How old are you? 78. Goodbye. There we go. Let's head. <laughs> now we'll try to head back to the truck. My pinky's falling asleep. The cursed objects can be fun, but some are more dangerous than others. Obviously, I told you about the Ouija board. If you use it three times. Everything, all of the cursed objects drain your sanity, so that's something to watch out for. 
Uh, so we're on an average of 50 right now. You might want to take some pills. Uh, you usually can only grab it when something's not in your hand. button is. <laughs> You'll get it eventually. It is a lot of buttons, but that's why I set it to something I can use. There you go. Okay, so our last objective is the candle. So do you want to yeah. grab the candle? I have the lighter. Or do you want the lighter and I can grab the candle? I can grab the candle. Okay. Then bring it inside. If you all wanted, you can always light the candle outside, but don't do it when it's raining. Obviously, because it doesn't work that way. We want it to burn as long as possible. Hey there, friend. That was a different sound. Normally you get a photo of the ghost, but... So that was a haunt. Or a ghost event. The ghost will do that sometimes. Just to scare you. Uh, um, alright, so we wait for the candle. And then we can leave. Make sure you... Uh, okay, so... You have... Do you have all three evidence down? And then... Gorio has to be on the bottom on that piece of tape showing. You have to click it to make sure it is or you don't have it inputted. And then you will get money for that. I got it. Okay, and then he blew out our candles, so we're not going to worry about the crucifix. Alright, so we are done. Any questions? I got nothing. That was a better explanation than the tutorial did, so. <laughs> the tutorial it can be very confusing if you don't realize. The thing is, there will always be three pieces of evidence, unless it's a mimic, which actually has four, but it's a... It's for fake evidence, but can show up, and will show up, are the orbs. So if you ever see ghost orbs, we have to double check that it's not a mimic, and so on. Once you get the different ghost types, and the ones that can be dangerous, then you'll start learning, well, learning how they are and whatnot. But they can surprise you. There are different, like, some of the chiller ghosts, um, Gorio is a chiller one, um, demons, surprisingly, are chill, but they are dangerous because they have that early hunting ability, uh, spirits, I did have one really active one, though, once, and shades are supposed to be the shyest of ghosts, so... If you ever find the time, just read the ghost type descriptions and it'll tell you they were updated to act more like they're said in the book, except for some weird ones. Um, that, like, I think the it says for the wraith, they're supposed to walk through walls. They don't. Um, but they teleport, they can teleport to wherever you are on the map, so that can be terrifying. And stuff like that. So you ready to go? Yeah, I'm good whenever you are. Okay. Are you at the loading screen?
Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. So yeah, you're gonna do a lot more leveling up than me, obviously, right now, because I'm higher level. Um, but you'll be making money, that money can be used to spend on equipment and stuff if you ever want to play by yourself or with people. That will help you locate the ghosts. Um, obviously, you'll have to go to the buy tab and look through all that. Obviously, the game will give you what you need to detect the ghosts, like the dots, the MF, the book, uh, thermometer. Nope, the thermometer the game will not give you. You'll have to buy that yourself. But that's how the easiest way to find the ghost room and the freezing temps, if you have it, if you don't see your breath whatever um on the optional equipment is for the objectives and stuff that will help you on a ghost hunt so i'll probably end this recording and then start another one if you want to do another round it's up to you though i'm okay with that i'm good to play for a while so <laughs> okay